Hi everyone and welcome to the fifth and final day of our daily devotions this week on the theme of danger ahead, looking what it means to truly follow Jesus and to live a life not prioritising safety and comfort, but prioritising what God really wants for us. My name's Chris and I'm the Senior Minister at ABC and I've been leading you through these devotions all week. What does it mean to truly follow Jesus? It's not a life of safety and comfort, but rather one of adventure and purpose, and one that isn't always safe and, in fact, can be full of danger. We've talked this week about how God is more concerned with our impact than our safety, urgency rather than apathy, truly living rather than simply existing, and persevering and not giving up. And today we finish by talking about surrendering, not self. We like to control things, don't we? If you're like me, when things happen that are beyond my control, I find that those things are the things that are causing me most angst. Things like pandemics, health issues, the way other people react to me, things that I can't control. You know, it's easy to trust God when I'm only trying to trust him for the things that actually I can easily control. It's far, far more difficult to trust him to be at work when I can't see it or to trust him in things that are way beyond my understanding or my ability to fathom. You know, the thing I find it hardest to trust God with is my kids, and it's even harder now that they're older and doing their own thing. Surrendering to God is really hard for people like me, and I suspect most of you are just like me. And don't even get me started on surrendering things to God that I like, but I know aren't the best for me. I know God has given everything for me when he gave his son on the cross, but I still struggle to truly give everything for him, to surrender everything to him. So I often choose self over surrender, and I suspect you do too. One of the most famous passages in the Bible about surrender comes from Paul, one of Jesus's first followers, and his letter to the people in a church in Rome. And in chapter 12, verse 1, and just one verse today, it says this, Therefore, I urge you, brothers and sisters, in view of God's mercy, to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God. This is your true and proper worship. In view of God's mercy, Paul says, because of what God has done, surrender yourself, not to gain God's favour or grace that is freely given by God. But in the light of that, in view of God's mercy, Paul says, offer yourselves as living sacrifices. This is our act of worship. You know, we so often talk about worship as singing. And don't get me wrong, I love that. But that really isn't the full entirety of our worship. The fullness of our worship is in our ability to surrender all of ourselves to God. And our singing does help us in that because it reminds us of who God is and inspires us with that knowledge so that we can surrender the whole of our lives to him. But that singing isn't of itself isn't the whole of our worship. Surrendering the whole of ourselves to God is our true and proper worship. And it's hard, isn't it? And dangerous too, because it means giving up control and none of us really like to do that. So I want to challenge myself first and foremost, and you too, to truly surrender all I am and all I have and all I want to God. Surrender, not self to surrender my trust to God for the things I can't see or understand or control, surrender my desires to God for the sake of him and his calling on my life. Let's pray and begin that act of surrender right now. Lord God, we come before you today and we surrender ourselves to you. We surrender our fears and anxieties and our worries over the things that we can't control. We surrender the whirring of our minds about things we can't understand. We surrender those things that are most precious to us, our families, our loved ones, our kids and our grandkids. And we trust in you and your will and your desire for them. And Lord God, we surrender to you our wants and our needs, the things that we like that you know are bad for us. And we surrender them to you. Help us, Lord God, and give us the strength, we pray, to truly follow you, 
not to look to self, but to look to you and what your will is, is for our lives. And we thank you that you have the best for us and for our lives, even when we don't understand. So help us to follow you and pursue you with our whole hearts and our whole beings, we pray. Even though there may be danger ahead, we pray that you'd enable us to surrender ourselves to your calling. Amen. Thanks so much for joining me this week. There's a recommended song in the link below. It's called Whole Heart by Hillsong Worship. And it's a great way for us to finish our week together where uh, the song will help us to continue that attitude of surrendering the whole of ourselves to God. Thanks for being with me this week. Thanks for pursuing the call of God on your life, even though that may mean danger ahead. My prayer is for me and for you too, that we continue to have the courage and the boldness to truly follow Jesus. God bless. Mm -hmm.